with a normal muffler. That's uh, all they do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Well, how's she going today, guys? In the 835 here, because he's the one who's at home. And uh, just pulling the air seeder out. So, get her brought up into the yard. I think we're going to get rained on here. They're calling for it, so that would be just fine with me. I figure I'll get her uh, up into the yard while it's dried up here, just in case we do get a shot of, or a sizable shot of rain. Then uh, we're not rutting the fuck out of the field here that way, so I suppose we'll get her get her moved here. I'll bring you back in a little bit. Well, I don't know, a couple days after the last clip, busy with other shit, figured I should make another clip. At Grandpa Henry's here, uh, yesterday got the 9600 out, and the batteries went flat on the 895, so Dad and I put the battery charger on and left it overnight, so she'll fire right off now, the old, the old kitten, so <laughs> kick the battery charger back in for... For a minute, anybody wants a 2188, I'll give you a fucking screaming deal. Cheap for cash, cheap for cash. What the fuck does this mean? This thing's kind of a fucking piece of shit. If it didn't actually charge, I'm going to throw the goddamn thing across the fucking yard, so... Watch, uh, uh, uh. that'll be about right. Oh, yeah, I was thinking I, I don't need to start the 8010. I'm going to have to start it, move the auger. What do we do first? This? See if I even remember how. One thing about this combine, the ladder on it's kind of a fucking joke. All right, ready? Contact. Ah, oh, fuck, that's nice. I was kind of sad for a while because of the massy, but now I feel better again. All right, before it kills us in here with its fumes. Can I still get by it now that the auger's in? It's gonna be close, I don't know. We'll, hmm. We'll see, I'll bring it, uh, I'll bring it back in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. We got room for fucking days here, so. Amanda left me my lunch in here before she left. That was awfully nice of her. I don't know, what, what do we think? Give her a little, a little fucking, just a little bit. It won't need it, I don't think, but fuck, it's here, so. Oh, look at all that fucking battery now. Really? 
Really? You fucking having a giggle or what? You little dirty fucking louse, that goddamn battery charger. One minute. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't get it because I had to crank and spray her with a little huff all at the same time, so. Guess she figures it's cold in here, but this tractor is quite a bit harder starting being fueled up so much. I mean, I can't tell you for sure because there's no, no PTO on it to do a dyno like that, but with the parts that we put into the metering pump and stuff on it, it should be in that 380 range. Get this all put away and I'll bring you back in a minute. Had more of a performance yesterday. Okay. In we go. See you at uh, closer to hang time when we come for the 5010, I guess. Maybe the next time we see these fucking collection of silly gaffers. I got it in a little bit farther than I've done the last time, so. We have a guy. Well, I mean, I wasn't planning on buying the 8010 last year, so. But now that a guy knows it's here, 1682. Is not going to be at that end. I think we can get things stacked and then back him in to get the four of them inside here. So, anyway, just about the whole thing in the shed. Pretty close. Good enough. Better than being outside completely, especially having the hopper and the engine and all that stuff inside. That's pretty big in my book, I think. So, all right. A little over an hour home now. Okay, I don't have real high hopes for this operation, but this is usually a kind of a grumpy old bitch at the best of times. In the old 427. We'll see what happens. Good old water truck. Not a bad. No, oh, twelve hundred dollar truck. Oh, fuel pump runs. It ain't gonna start, but but you just goes. Oh! Holy fuck! She wants to go to work. Holy fuck! <laughs> I like that. 
that battery was sitting in the shop and I didn't think it had much for juice in it, but apparently it did. Ha! Well, I'll be dipped. Damn it. Knocked all my boards off. I'll pick those up with the side by side after. Well. Do an oil change on here and uh, check our diff oil and get all the empty jugs and shit off of it and just kind of do a bit of general organization. The old baby should be good for another year hauling water, so nice. I like that. I know what it won't have. Brakes. We never have brakes when we start with this thing. Half the time we don't even have brakes while we're using it. So it's not a damn thing. Christ, it even wants to run back and up. You gotta like that. So, get old baby moved up to the shop, I guess. Talk to you in a minute. What are you doing, you little Charlie Speckle Park orange colored little goober? Mm. Eh? Yeah, that's your baby. Nice job. Should sell like a bitch. Little baby hamburgers. Eh? Oh, that feels nice. Itch my bum hole, she says. <laughs> Silly little fucker. Right? Oh, 11's coming for some attention, though. Well, I don't know. You got any chop? Can't beat the 130 pound calf you had if I don't eat more chop. <laughs> That's gonna calf though. Well, Tanya with her pointy tits. I suppose though, that's probably enough for this video. Me? Me, baby? Me, baby? I guess. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe for more. Got the zoomies now. Talk to you in the next one. Hurry up and make a cow update video. Get to it. They're all waiting. <laughs>